So I have this Telecaster. I really like the black and white look that it has. It's got an aged guard on it. I actually have upgraded the tuners to some Wilkinson staggered tuners. They actually have two holes on there. So you can pick the height you want to put them at, either high or low. They hold tune really well. But I never fell in love with these cheap pickups that are in it. What I thought would be really neat would be to upgrade it to some filter trons. I don't know about you, but I think some filter trons in this guitar would be pretty awesome. But filter trons are super expensive, like everything else. So I got a hold of some from guitarfetish.com. It's a company that I had heard of before that kind of deals in bulk, but I never tried. So I made an order, and this is what came in the box. It actually shipped really, really fast. I ordered it on a Thursday night, and it arrived on Monday morning. Looks like it ships out of Florida. So this is what comes in the box. And then really well packaged, actually. Inside of here we have all the electronic components. New switch, new pots, the bridge, and uh, the nut is actually in there as well. Here's what was inside the big bag. We have all of the switches and the components that go with the electronics. And they are actually 500K alpha-sized pots. They are branded XGP. That is Guitar Fetish's proprietary name for their, quote, made in America style pots and switches. But you can see inside the bag, there it is labeled that it is a 500K. Has everything you need. They even included a a hat for the three-way switch. Here's the nice bone nut. Looks like it's actually cut pretty well in its own baggie. And the bridge. It actually looks like a decent bridge. It's got four screws. It is an over, it is a through the saddle or through the back, either way. Obviously cut for filter trons. Inside the box still, packaged nicely is the aged pick guard wrapped it in bubble wrap as well so that's pretty exciting it pretty much is going to match what's on there already i really kind of like that look but it's going to be slightly different setup then inside these boxes is what hopefully will not be a wasted investment just open this up here the boxes, they're, they're all wrapped really, really well. One is a bridge pickup and one is a neck pickup, but you can see they're all bubble wrapped and set up nicely. Comes with the foam piece to put underneath all the screws that you need. Now, I already opened this up and labeled it so I would know the difference. That is the part number and this is the one for the neck, obviously. But that's what it's going to look like. There's a matching set of GF Trons. The neck, and then obviously the bridge is here in the box. So, I'm gonna do some upgrading on here. I'm gonna have to rerouter the body and do some things, but the hope is that I end up with a guitar with filter Trons instead. As you can see, we got the new components laid out here. We've already put the new pick guard on, set up our template to cut. We've made a line here to cut out the excess material. And then we've, we've got the bridge in place, and we know that the filter trons are gonna fit in the bridge. What's cool about these guitar fetish ones is that it actually has a quick plug adapter. So when we plug in, basically an eighth inch plug plugs right in there. Push that in all the way. It plugs in just like a headphone jack. Now we'll wire the other end to our switches and knobs. 
And if we decide down the road we want to keep the guts, but we want to trade out the pickups, all we have to do is disconnect the pickups, pop it out, put in a new quick plug style. Now obviously we may have to change out if we decide humbuckers or to put single coils back in, but in theory it's just as easy as popping the pickup out and sliding in a new one once you have the quick connect installed. So now that we have the bridge in place and the pick guard in place, we've made our marks. What we're going to do is take these items back off. We'll go ahead and use a router here and we'll route out the extra material to make room for our new pickups. Alright, so after some routing, which I'm not incredible at, this is basically what we ended up with. I made the holes a little bit bigger. This hole is obviously a lot wider. Uh, about the same depth as it was before. This one, because this hole was already so deep, there's a little bit of a recess, but there's no sense going any deeper than that because that's the deepest my router would go. So we'll just hope that this is the correct size as now. What I tried to do was cut them a little bit big on purpose so that if I ever decided to switch out to humbuckers or something later on instead of the filtertrons, I'd already have the holes cut wide enough for that. So we'll see how it turns out after we've kind of cleaned everything up and put it back together. All right, as you can see, we've also installed some shielding tape in here, which is nice because it uh, helps with buzz. It also makes it look a little bit cleaner and neater. So this is what we've done to the body in order to get ready to put those pickups in. We'll see how she goes. All right, so we did have to modify some hole sizes to feed the thicker four wire humbucker style wires through. So of course that meant cutting some bigger holes instead of the ones that were there. But now because of the quick connect, I'm able to just go ahead and run the wires to the bridge and to the neck. And then we're about to put this wiring harness together inside of the old plate. Now on the old plate that was on there, we actually had to drill out the holes a little bit bigger. They're not super pretty because we didn't have the exact size bit, but thanks to some redneck engineering, we are able to fit these in here now. So we'll just put them all together, put the nuts on there and get this wiring harness installed in here and be able to see if we can figure out how to get the pickup heights in. So pickups will be the next step. All right, so full disclosure, not the greatest solderer in the world. So what I think I figured out is that we have the neck quick connect here the bridge quick connect here, they're already fished through the holes. What I did is I actually, these were four wire connectors. So I put what the company labeled as hot and coil split together as one positive lead, turning it into a two wire instead of a four wire. Then I took the black and the unshielded wire, connected them together. So basically I twisted the two neutrals or grounds together and the two hots together. So I have a hot connected up here to the neck position and then here's the ground going to the volume pot. Then over here you can see that the two neutrals or grounds are also connected right here and then they go to the volume pot. The hot two wires are stuck together and they are on this pin. And I know it's not the greatest soldering in the world, but I think it'll work. So this is kind of the basics. I turned the four wire into a two wire because I don't have a push-pull knob. I'm just going to go straight humbucker pickups in either position. So we have hot up here, ground here. Hot down here, ground here. And you can see which wires I spliced together. That will hopefully make it work. All right, so this... Tron went in pretty well. The wood, is, it's basically just screwed straight into the wood with a piece of foam underneath. This one, however, the bridge cavity was too deep. It was already routed way too deep, so the Tron dropped way down inside. So what I did is I found this little piece of wood spacer. So now the wood will Velcro to the other side in the hole, and we'll still have the ability to have the compression screws here can still tighten and loosen the spun, the foam, against the wood block. So essentially the wood block is going to create a spanner 
between the two so the, the filter tron can still fit right down in there. That's the solution we had to come up with because the hole was too deep already on this guitar. So we'll see if that it works. It took some tweaking because of the distance in the bottom of this. We did a little bit of shenanigans, but we got it worked out. This is what the body looks like now with these filter tron pickups in it. They're both in there. They're both adjustable in height, essentially by screwing the two outside pole screws down into the body. You can see these are the GF Trons made by Guitar Fetish. The new bridge, got the saddle really, the saddle's close to the old one. All brand new electronics. I just tested them and the switch appears to be proper. Everything is wired correctly and ready to go. And now we're doing a little bit of neck job here real quick. Eventually we're going to play, replace the nut, but we've run out of time for now. We'll keep the plastic nut on it. But I put some string trees on there. Uh, it has the Wilkinson compensated tuners. And the way that works is there are actually two holes on each post, if you can see that. You can go low or high, depending upon how you want it to be. So we're going to clean up the frets. Uh, condition the neck just a little bit and we'll slap her back together and at least see if we've got a functioning tuxedo telecaster. So here's the finished product, the tuxedo telecaster. It's got guitar finish filter trons in the neck and in the bridge. It was a real big pain to get them in there. But now that they're in there, everything is soldered correctly, they actually can pop out pull them out if I want to switch them out for a humbucker or a single somewhere down the road. So we kept the original neck, we kept the original uh, body, original cover here. It has all new electronics, new switch, obviously a new bridge to accommodate the filter tron, new filter tron, new filter tron here, new pick guard. We had to do some modding on the body obviously because it had single coils in it before. Uh, we will eventually change out the nut, but we kind of ran out of time. It has some compensated Wilkinson tuners. So it says Delta Tone on it. I left it on there because I think it's kind of cool. So here's what we've got. <laughs> position. sounds a lot better than what was in it before. <laughs> I'm so excited to have what's
it's called the Delta Tone. Uh, I think I'm going to call it the Delta Tone Tuxedo Telly. Because it just kind of looks like it's dressed to go out for the evening with its friends.